Welcome back, Sue Landers. You could say the suspect in this robbery messed with the wrong person, but the man he pointed the gun at doesn't see it that way. Zach Summers has the story. It's the first sport I ever did. 36-year-old Josh Hinges has practiced judo for as long as he can remember, and he found success in it over the years. Yeah, I've got to travel around the country and around the world uh, competing and training and doing seminars. A former member of the USA judo team, Hinges last competed about five years ago. But the instincts he learned from the sport kicked in Monday night when someone tried to rob him. So he came up from behind. Um, and he grabbed my shoulder. And just in judo, when someone grabs you, there's just a way, a muscle memory way you move. Hinges was walking home from a gas station near 41st in Warwick when he felt something push into his back. He turned to see a gun pointed directly at him. It just kind of reacted. His martial arts skills quickly kicked in, and he managed to get the suspect to the ground. One of the good things about judo is you can hold someone down and not permanently hurt them. Hinges says as he held the 20-year-old to the ground, he also wanted to know why the young man would attempt to commit armed robbery. Well, as I've worked with transition age youth for a long time. I've worked with homeless folks for my entire career. Um, so I wanted to see kind of what led him to this. Kansas City native says the suspect shared that he was having trouble at home. Look, people, they've got to they've gotta own their behaviors, but there's also a reason they behave a certain way. Hinges says the suspect was very remorseful and knew he had messed up. There's no sense in this defining who he is. Like judo, which means the gentle way, and just says he thinks we all could be a little less rigid. I think the biggest is if I can forgive this kid, I hope he's going to own it. And when he owns it, let's find a way to make the most of his life. And just and Hinges was able to call 911 hands-free because he was wearing his AirPods. Police say the weapon used by the suspect turned out to be a BB gun.